I like to show you the Z method here. And uh, this is left corner. You move only the top of the squeegee over to your right corner. And then you have the left squeegee down here and you go all the way down to the left corner and over to your right. And that's the Z method. Now that will eliminate a lot of Move your arm only 20 inches to do the whole window. And then of course you detail again and you have a 150% job. Well, I hope this uh, video helped you to uh, reduce the labor. And uh, thank you for watching. As you can see, I use the extension pole for just about everything. Because it's so much easier. And the same thing here, since we already introduced the 36 inch. One, two, three. See, the Sorbo is very... Stop and go on the window without leaving water. So actually, look at this now. You bring the top of the squeegee over to this corner. The bottom is always staying around that edge down there. Look at this now. One. So you twist the whole squeegee. You see the bottom. You go down to the left bottom corner and then you go upwards and over to your right corner like this. And that's how you do the Z method. That's how simple that is. Now I like to show you the traditional size squeegee first. And Seems like most people used 18 inch for many, many years. And uh, it's an easy squid to work when you do the slalom method or the fanning method. Well, that method goes like this. You start in the left corner, you go up from the left, top corner, and you build up a mountain in the middle of the window. And you go over that mountain back and forth till you reach the bottom, and then you go across like this. Now, to do a 150% job, I usually wipe the bottom with my sponge. And then I use my 100% cotton towel and detail. That way I have a 150% job. This is what we call high quality window cleaning.